Welcome back to Cash and Coins. So this is a little system that I developed on how to have information about my coins without having to look it up in books. Uh, and actually, one of the subscribers um, said he'd like to know how I do this. So I thought I'd make a video about it. So these are the list of things that you're going to need. And I'm going to put these down in the description. Ready accessible. So first you're going to cut out a little template. It's going to be 13 uh, centimeters by 7 centimeters. And this one template covers many, many sizes of coins, as you can see there. Uh, and I'll show you the actual uh, coins. See, there you go. Well, first thing that you're going to do is cut out your little um, piece of cardboard. And see it fits the template and then uh, get you a piece of felt make sure that it's big enough for the cardboard and then we'll put some rubber cement glue on there that this is great glue because it's it's very forgiving um, and it dries it super fast so uh, I don't let it dry for more than a minute or so then you can work with it something that I really like about it now for this video, I just I did do a rough cut. I didn't really really do a nice cut, for, but when I'm doing it for you know to keep, I do take a little bit more time to make sure that the that it fits well. Now you want to make when you cut this out here, when you're measuring the size of the coin, you want to make it a little bit like two millimeters smaller. Or oh, make sure that you have an adult with you if you're going to use a knife. It'd be good to use some a nice strong gloves that can't be cut. I recommend doing it just barehanded. So since it's about two millimeters uh, all the way around uh, smaller, you're going to have to, you know, pry it open a little bit, and that also helps hold the uh, coin in the cardboard a lot better, as you see. Uh, then it won't fall out. Uh, it won't shake out or anything. So that's the best way that I found. Now you want to actually make your little labels for it. So I go to a couple of websites, as you see here, and I pull the information from there. Even Atmex, as you see, has information about uh, some coins. So you can go, like I said, to several of these websites and get your information. And then that's going to be the information that you type into those into your little labels. So I open up Word. And as you see, I'm, you can copy paste if you want to. Uh, but I sometimes have trouble with that. It doesn't copy paste very well. Uh, or you can just uh, type it in like I'm doing. And if one website doesn't have the information that you ha that you need, you can jump over to another website. Uh, I've had to do that several times for several of my um, numismatic or semi-numismatic coins. Then I go ahead and I send it uh, to the printer. And there you go. Sometimes I do make copies, two copies of it, because when I'm cutting it, it doesn't look exactly straight as I wanted it to be. But you can use a paper cutter or you can cut it with scissors if you have a pretty steady hand. And um, I do separate the, the, you know, the top and the bottom. Okay, here I might first check the fit, make sure that it fits well. And then I get some of that rubber uh, cement and I glue it on there. Here it is putting the rubber rubber cement as you see it it's very forgiving and it dries really fast something that I really like about using uh, using this and your coin of course is protected in that capsule and that's pretty much it uh, you can take it and you can put it with all your others here's my box of well one of my boxes I have three or four boxes uh, full of coins and you can put it in there for easy access uh, I also do catalog this information uh, on these coins, and this is what my uh, spreadsheet looks like. Um, this is just one random page that I pulled out. Well, if you did enjoy this um, video, please uh, comment. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.